Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today, we are on Lake Norman competing in the third event of the QC KVF series. I'm out on the water, pedaling. I got a level with you. I'm already kind of shook up. <laughs> Let me tell you kind of what happened. I'm off to an uneasy start. Um, I went to launch and I, my plan was to go to a location where I historically have pretty good luck. Well, yesterday was extremely windy and the thought crossed my mind. I was like, you know what? I might have to go somewhere else because of uh, the wind situation. And so I had a backup plan, but I woke up this morning and the wind wasn't terrible. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go with my, my original plan. So went to the launch. Oh man, it was bad. <laughs> it was very, very windy. <coughs> and uh, I didn't have the, I didn't want to relocate. So instead of going to the area where I have confidence, I'm going to an area that provides the most shelter from the wind. Um, and it's an area that I've absolutely never been to. Uh, so this is going to be a learning experience. Hopefully there are fish here. Um, yeah, and it's not an ideal area where I want to be fishing either. But I, at this point, it's like, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to do. So I don't know. I guess today's lesson is pay attention to the weather um, because, yeah, it's uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right. I got about 15 minutes. I'm going to do some last minute prep work, but I'll be seeing you here in a little bit. Marking fish down there. Perch. Luke. I was looking on my graph and I, next thing you know I thought I was hung up on something. All right my totally accidental fish 14 and three quarter. There he is. All right I'm gonna get him back in the water. And now it's time for <laughs> Tackle Roundup. All right, guys, obviously I'm doing this after the fact because I don't do tackle roundups on tournament days because I'm too busy fishing. But what I caught that fish on was this. It's a uh, by A Squared Custom Baits. Uh, it's their lightning stick in blue and black. And let me show you the color on this. A square custom baits makes this like Cinco style bait. I really like that color, that blue black. Um, it's blue and it's got some flake in it. Um, what I did was I put it on a Ned rig though. I don't buy Ned rigs. I just use my Cinco's and I just cut them in half. And that's, that's what I do. Cause um, number one, I'm cheap. And number two, uh, space is at a premium when you're out on the kayak. So uh, I just use Cinco's and I just cut them in half. So that's what I'm using. Uh, A square custom baits. And in this color, I actually on clear water lakes that like are spotted bass, clear water lakes. I mean, this is a killer color. Um, and that's, uh, I like using them on a, a Ned rig. Uh, if you're just trying to fill out a limit, uh, good stuff there by, uh, a squared custom baits. And that concludes today's <laughs> tackle roundup. Well, hey guys, it's not quite a midday update, but I'm getting close. Man, I have miscalculated just terribly. Um, I uh, 
this is not going well i uh, i've got the one fish which i caught by just complete accident um i fished a, an area where i i don't really have any history and yeah that's i think it's gonna be a big uh i don't want to say a goose egg i got one but uh aside from that one this, this ain't looking good um wind is very high um so basically i am gonna make a run because i'm not catching fish i'm gonna run to another like really sheltered area and my plan is i'm just going to uh i'm just gonna feed apart docks i mean that's gonna be my my strategy just jump fish and, and just hit docks in, in any area that i can fish uh that is somewhat uh blocked by the uh the wind because it's the wind is, is pretty bad if, if you get out in the open so that's what i'm gonna do I, yeah. so far things are not going well but i'll keep you updated talk to you in a little bit accidental fish I caught today. All right, just a little 14 incher. And this fish I caught completely by accident. I cast, and because it's so windy, I had a wind knot in my line and I was trying to get it out. Couldn't get it out, so I'm just gonna have to abandon that rod. But then when I went to reel it in, he's on it. So I guess I catch fish when I'm not trying to catch fish, I guess. Let's get him back in the water. Alright guys, just a little 14. Well, it sounds like this. I wish I had that bigger fish because I'd have my limit. Let's get it back in the water. Fourteen and three quarter. 
All right, guys, I got a very tiny limit. Man, I wish I had caught that, uh, that other one because uh, that would have boated well. But got my limit. So we'll see if we can upgrade, maybe. Let's get back in the water. guys that is 230 which means it is lines out or so i thought actually i stand corrected um i was heading back to the ramp and then i uh i was trying to find like where the weigh-in was going to be and i happened to look at the uh the the times i had 30 more minutes of fishing <laughs> so uh i guess i'm just gonna fish this last 30 minutes and uh and that's call it a day i guess stand by All my camera batteries are dead. 18 to three quarter with 10 minutes left. Yes, let's get back in the water. Look at that guy, man. Well guys, three o'clock. That is lines out for real this time. <laughs> it was, uh, well, that was a, a pretty big miscalculation on my part. Um, yeah, the day was salvaged there in that bonus 30 minutes, man. Um, well, let's talk about it. Uh, I, I think I'm probably gonna end up halfway in the pack, middle of the pack. Um, I, I did not expect the fishing to be as tough as it is. This time of year, you would think that there would be a, uh, uh, that the bite would not have been as fickle as it was, but I was, I, my bite was very fickle. Um, I ended up, I caught the four uh, in the 14 inch range on that Ned rig. I lost a big one um, and that would have certainly helped. Uh, and that was also on a Ned. But then it was like, I, I just went, I had nothing going on. And there in that last, uh, 30 minutes an hour I was like you know what I've got to upgrade catching 14s isn't gonna isn't gonna make it um, I fished what I thought was the last half hour with a jig so then I started heading back to the ramp and uh, I pulled up my phone where, where like the rules were to see where the weigh-in was and then I noticed I had 30 more minutes so I was like oh crap so I just pulled over at like a random area it was an area that I had fished earlier and uh, I caught my fish earlier and landed in in the last 10 minutes, a, uh, an 18 and three quarters. So that was like, yeah, that was very fortuitous. So uh, the day wasn't all that bad. I think I ended up with, I don't know, around 62 inches, I think. Had I caught that bigger one, uh, man, that would have been nice, but that's what, it happens sometimes. Here's my thoughts. Um, I had a uh, I had a good day out here. Um, I had a fun day. I mean, um, I had a good time. Uh, things that I did well and things that I didn't do well. Things I didn't do well. I uh, I didn't have a backup plan. Um, I didn't look at the weather. I, I thought that the wind was going to be less than it was, and I couldn't even fish like the area that where I wanted to fish would have been completely unfishable. So. I ended up just having to just improvise 
and uh, I, I didn't adapt well. So that was the thing that I, I most didn't do well, um, was I didn't adapt uh, in the way that I should have. And then also I need to pay more attention to the rules and also know when lines out is. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, had I gone back to the ramp, I, I would have just had two, uh, like four 14s and that would have been it. I wouldn't even caught that last one of the day. So uh, that was, uh, yeah, I, I need to do better at that in the future. Things that I did well, um, when I lost that big fish, I think in the past, I would have just dwelled on it and just, you know, I, it would have just ruined my entire day. But when I lost it, I was mad. I uh, was frustrated, but I allowed myself to be mad and frustrated for like one minute. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep, keep trucking. And that's what I did. I kept trucking. I, I was proud of the way that I, uh, I just kept going and I didn't let it just ruin my entire day. So that was one thing that I did well. Another thing that I did well is I didn't stop. I mean, literally, uh, I, I caught that, the biggest fish of the day within the, in the last 10 minutes of the tournament. So, I mean, I, I didn't let it, let it phase me. And uh, even though things weren't looking good and the, the bites were, were pretty sparse, I kept on, uh, I kept on fishing. So uh, that was good. Anyways, I'm gonna head back to the weigh-in. Um, if you'd like to know anything about what I did today, the lures, the launch, or anything else, you can look down into the description box. I'm gonna leave some additional information down there. While you're there, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. The channel's updated every week with new fishing content and new fishing adventures. So, I'll be seeing you next week. This is Josh, and this is Abide Fishing. Turning brown.